Good morning, everybody out there. And today, um, in Mr. Darby's art class, we're going to be working on a texture project. We're going to be talking about how to make texture and make art on a flat surface. So, when we're working with textures, we're actually talking about the way things feel. So your shirt has texture, glass has texture, branches on trees have texture, rocks has te have texture. So when we're looking at these textures and we're trying to build them in art, there's different ways we can go about it. With a shag carpet, you're using different kinds of yarns, um, maybe wool, and so you're creating your own texture with the actual uh, material that you're using. But when we're working with texture on paper, we have to get creative. We gotta start thinking, how can we create texture through a drawing? And in this case, we're gonna use tissue paper to do that today. So let's draw our sunflowers together, and then I'll show you how to do the technique for making it look like a shag carpet. Alright, first step is to draw out our sunflower and with this sunflower what I want to do is draw with a white pencil. I have um, regular pencils and, and you can obviously use a regular pencil but for the sake of the video and you guys watching out there, a uh, white color pencil on black paper would be best. So what I want to do is I want to figure out how to create three sunflowers and where am I going to put them. So I can make one here, alright, we're talking about uh, continuity trying to get everything to flow on the page. Sometimes that means it goes off the page. Maybe I'll put one here and one here. All right, so we have our middles of our sunflowers and I'll show you how to put the tissue paper down here shortly, but not just yet. Then for each petal, we always have to remember that it comes out to a point and a lot of times don't try to fit your sunflower's petals on the paper if they go off. It's better to just let them go off the edge. All right, we'll do the same thing over here. And then here. Each petal is different, right? So it's okay if they're not exactly the same. And then you can have another petal behind them. And you're really going to draw the top part of it. So that it looks like it's overlapping. All right. There we are pretty simple drawing. We can add some leaves maybe. So a leaf for the sunflower coming down here. Let's add one here. And one going off the page here. And I put the line down the middle of it so that I don't forget that it's a, a leaf and get confused. Uh, so that when I start to put my colors in with tissue paper it actually looks like a leaf instead of a strange flower petal. Let me show you something. So now I have these pre-cut sizes of two by two inch pieces of tissue paper that we're going to use to do our entire project. And um, I have them pre-cut because they come in large sheets. If you don't have tissue paper to use for this, you could use probably construction paper, but it's not going to wrap around the end of a pencil very easily. All right, let's see what we are going to do with this. So what I want to do is use a glue stick here to lay down some glue and get ready for my sheets of tissue paper and realistically um, this would take a pretty long time to do because you're trying to make sure that you fill the entire black paper with tissue paper so here's how I would start I'll take my glue stick make sure that you watch a glue stick is kinda of like chapstick you don't want to roll it out too far because it could end up falling off okay so just a little section of it at a time, not too much. I put my glue stick down. You can see it right there. I'll take the back of my pencil. I'll lay my brown paper in my hand. I'll put the middle of the pencil down like this inside the middle of the tissue paper and twist it back and forth. If you do it right, you should let go 
and it will look something like this, okay? Then all you have to do is lay the first one down. And if you press hard, it will stick. So you go to the next one, wrap it around your pencil, twist it up until it sticks. If you push too hard through your pencil, you put a hole right out the back end of your tissue paper, all right? It should nicely slide off, lay it down, and stay in the lines. And you're just gonna keep working until you fill the entire middle of the paper up. with tissue. If you get tired of working on one color, I don't blame you. It is a lot. But that's how we get it done. And you can start to see this texture building on the surface here. Some low spots, some high spots. And that's great. That's what we want to see. By the time we're done, our whole paper will be about an inch and a half thick and it will all just be tissue paper. I'll do one more in this color. So the middles of the flowers will all be brown. That way they look like they're sunflower seeds. There, like that. All right, let me leave the brown alone. So now what I'll do is uh, pick some flower petals to do. Again, I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna glue just a little bit at a time so that it doesn't actually dry before I get them all on there. Now I got yellow. Roll my yellow around the pencil. Stuff it in the corner and just start working to fill in the yellow areas. And I do light yellow in the petals that are up close to the flower. If you're not real careful, you'll rip your paper. If you rip your paper on the end down here, when you stick your project pieces down, you'll actually get glue on the pencil that you're trying to use to wrap. It makes it really difficult to do the pieces after that. You'll have to wash your pencil off because it'll be so filled with glue, all right? So I'll just fill in my entire petal. Following the lines, staying in the lines, and then filling it all in. This is one of my son's favorite projects and we still have it hanging on the fridge from when he was with me a few years back. It does take time and patience, but those are things that we have to also be working on, right? We're excited to get things finished in five minutes and we're excited to move on. That's kind of where we landed after all of this. So our job here is to help you slow down, take your time and make things nice. Okay, so if I do my pedal and fill it in completely, It's going to take several pieces of paper, but that's okay. Maybe one more in there. There. All right. If the glue seems like it's starting to dry because you put too much glue down on your paper and then you didn't get to it fast enough, it's okay. Just remember that you can re-glue. All right, so the, the little pieces here that are being overlapped and you can't see all of, I'm gonna put some glue in there as best as I can, get it in there. And what I do is I take the darker color yellow. It's almost like an orange color. And I put that in there. gonna be awesome here we go there it is so that would be the way that I would tackle my my center of my flower my flower petals up close near the circle and then the ones that are being overlapped if I had the leaves which I do right here. Turn my paper around, put a little glue down. Don't fill the whole thing. Get the green out. And then you can use green for the petals. And remember, our goal is that we wouldn't see any paper at the end, but if we do, it's black, so it'll kind of look like a shadow. It won't really 
uh, draw your eye away from the beauty of the rug. If you could imagine white or blue paper or another color paper underneath there, it'd be bright and you'd see all the areas that you missed pretty easily. But with black paper, it kind of hides that. I do love using black paper for a lot of our art projects for that very reason. Just keep rolling your fingers around. Keep working to fill in those areas. I could fully expect this project to take four weeks of working about a half an hour at a time. Sometimes we'll pick up two pieces of tissue paper and try and wrap them around the pencil. You'll feel the difference if you do that. You don't, you don't want that. Okay. I'll do one more and then we'll start the, the blue sky. Now, I'm going to do my blue sky blue because that's the color that I want it to be. But really, the blue sky could be a gray sky or a white sky or a sunset sky. The reason I didn't do a sunset sky for this project is because I would feel like if there was any orange or yellow in the sunset that it would take away from my flowers. But really, you could do a pink, right? Or you could just do a purple because you like purple. Just something that won't um, blend very easily with the actual flowers, okay? And then obviously no green sky. All right, so that would be the way that I would start that. The next step here is to do the sky in blue. And I'll just add some blue. Maybe I'll do it right here up against this side. Just a little bit of glue. Again, it's all the same steps. It's just repetition over and over and over till I'm happy. And it's all filled in. You do want to fill this in all the way up to the edges. Sometimes we get a little bit lazy. We want to be done. We try and spread them out so they're not tucked in close together. If these little pieces aren't stuffed as near to each other as possible, you'll end up with gaps and then it won't look like a rug. All right. And I filled the whole background in blue. So let me take some time to do that and I'll get back with you. Good luck. See you soon.